Chapters 2 and 3 are coming to the Nintendo Switch, Chapter 2 is getting a remaster this Halloween, and we finally got a look at the secret button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button with your grab pack, and let's hop right into it. First off, Poppy Playtime is going to have a booth at the New York Comic Con. They will also have a bunch of awesome Culture Fly merchandise there, but that's not all. There will also be some new exclusive merch that you can only find at the booth. Among these are small decorative buttons, but one of them stands out. It's a question mark. Naturally, people started to think this was a new chapter for a villain, but eventually after some back and forth, Mob Entertainment finally revealed that the question mark was just a Playtime Co. logo. Everyone kind of shrugged it off and moved on, but what if it's not? Why would they hide something so familiar behind a question mark? It feels like they're teasing the community, and I have a feeling that when we actually go to the booth, it might be something a bit different. Mob Entertainment is known for their surprises, so who really knows? The next piece of news we have is that Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 and 3 will be available on the Nintendo Switch this Halloween. That means after this, every console will have the latest chapters of Poppy Playtime, and that we'll have to just wait for the new Chapter 3 to come to mobile. It's great to see that Mob Entertainment is making these games accessible to everyone. However, getting Chapter 3 on mobile might be tricky because it has some pretty high graphics. Speaking of graphics, Chapter Chapter 2 looks great, but it doesn't quite measure up to Chapter 3. So, to solution for this, Mob Entertainment is remaking Chapter 2 to enhance its visuals. I really hope they enhance the grab pack to make it look like it does in Chapter 3, as the differences are pretty noticeable. Mob Entertainment has also hinted that there will be new secrets in the remaster, so we might catch a glimpse of what's to come in Chapter 4. Project Playtime Phase 3 turned a year old recently, its date being October 25th. Since then, the developers haven't released any new updates, as they've been focusing on Chapter 3 and 4. Many fans found Phase 3 to be a letdown because it removed some features like the Huggy Pit, and the toy box. However, they did confirm that there will be a phase four. I mean, a while back, Amber, the artist for Poppy Playtime, even shared a concept for a catnap skin, which gives us hope for what's next. I really enjoyed playing Project Playtime, so I'm looking forward to updates. Right now, there's no toy box, which means there aren't any new skins to collect. So that's really going to be it for all of the latest news on Poppy Playtime. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Boy.